Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, we talked about Microsoft Edge um, from time to time, and we talk about how, you know, at, at, at the beginning, I'm still using Edge as um, the main browser most of the time, but of course, um, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened over the years of Microsoft Edge with so much fluff and so much unnecessary things that have actually popped up in this browser that um, more and more people are finding that it's just like bloated with tons of crap that's useless. Now, there's some interesting report with this. Um, it would seem that in a near future, a lot of it you'll be able to actually remove. Now, in some of the latest Canary versions, because I do use the Canary version here, but it does not have that uh, on mine. Uh, but some actually have seen in the uh, Canary version pop up uh, a uh, brand new way of uh, changing things around. And it seems that uh, there's a new setting that is offering to remove unwanted features so in the um, for those that have it if you go into the settings you'll notice that below the um, family uh, here the family safety there's something that is uh, called unwanted features or feature removal or whatever I don't remember the exact wording but um, what you do is that you click there and you'll be able to actually remove features you don't want from the Microsoft Edge browser. I think that's a great idea. I think I hope they put a lot of sliders of a lot of things that you can remove and keep the browser to its strict minimum. Um, I think that is the best. And if you can, of course, choose, well, you could keep some of the features that you might want, some that you might not want. But uh, definitely this is a good idea because as time goes by, it's crazy how Microsoft Edge is becoming way, way too bloated with things that people don't want. And it's like a runaway experiment. It's like the idea at the start of Microsoft Edge was, oh, this is cool. You know, it's a great lightweight browser, works really, really well. And then, whoops, this new icon appears, this new bar appears, this new thing appears, this new setting appears, and you, you get to a point where you're like, yeah, okay, come on, you know, this, this is crazy. Um, so it's really like a runaway experiment. Uh, but if you can remove most of the features that are bloating the Edge browser or, you know, that are unnecessary to you, I think this is a great idea. And it's been spotted in testing on some of the Canary versions, apparently. Now, will it make it officially to the main version? That's another story. But let's hope it does because I think it would be a good idea to have that switch. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.